Well, hello, my name is Juno Gonzalez, and I'm a biologist here at the California Academy of Sciences at the Steinhardt Aquarium. We are standing right in front of our swamp habitat. We have a whole exhibit full of animals, including an alligator, four snapping turtles, and an assortment of different freshwater fish. Claude seems to be doing fairly well. I noticed that he's actually up on his rock a lot more often nowadays. He eats here an assortment of rodents, fish, chickens, and a nutrient-rich gel that we make for him. Well, the gelatin's actually, it's a, it, when I say it's nutrient-rich, it's, it's full of vitamins and actually a lot of uh, fruits, vegetables, and fiber that he wouldn't normally get except for in the animals he would eat in the wild. It's delicious. So once a year, we do an annual checkup on Claude, in which case we actually take him up out of his exhibit, we bring him out here, and we will do things like weigh him, we'll take, uh, uh, fluids, we'll check his, his uh, length, his overall uh, uh, body condition, and just give him a good physical, like going to your doctors. And then also, we, when we feed him, we actually do a training exercise. And this actually allows us to really visualize Claude in different ways that we can kind of manipulate him to come around to us and show different sides that we want him to. And that helps us uh, identify that he's doing well, that he's healthy and that he's happy and also that he participates with us. When we do a training session, it's a feeding session, but he has to do certain things. And if he's willing to do so, that lets us know that he's in a good mood. It's an old saying, you can't make an alligator do anything it does not want to do. Well, that can be a tricky question sometimes. We like to look at them as roommates. Sometimes they get along, sometimes they don't. Kind of like with your brothers and sisters. Well, I want to let you know that Claude misses you, and that alligators are a whole lot more smarter than people think. He responds to voice commands and hand signals, just like you would train your dog. So keep that in mind, they're smart. We hope to see you very soon. <laughs>